Tori's very bravely decided to cook a few dishes for her big Italian family. It's Sunday dinner, and to impress her in-laws, she's going to need great ingredients. So we're going shopping, the Italian way. The reason I want to bring you to Arthur Avenue is because, for me, it's the last authentic Little Italy. And there's this great market, this fresh market, where you can get great Italian cheese, all kinds of imported stuff from Italy, uh, real prosciutto, real mozzarella. There's actually a guy who makes mozzarella. Hey, Rocco, nice to nice see you. Nice to see you, nice Pleasure. to see you. This is Tori. Hello, Tori. Hello. How are you? Nice Tori to meet you. Tori O'Gallagher. Modern real Irish girl you put on. O'Gallagher. And we're going to make her Italian? Well, she's okay, married to, She's married to Grassi. So you're Italian now. Yeah. So I heard you guys are shopping. You're going to get some roast peppers, some mozzarella. Yeah, we're thinking about making some things, whatever looks good. Mozzarella, I think you should come help us make the mozzarella. I'd love to do that. That's Sounds a real good. treat. Really would love to come do that. Come around, you guys come on in, we'll make some fresh mozzarella. If your in-laws aren't impressed after you've made your own mozzarella. Come on, give them the apron. Okay. What we're going to do is, this is the curd. Oh, mercy. Nice. The okay. curd is, it comes fresh, we get it twice a week. All right, so I'll give you the first, you're going to go through. Just push it And you catch it. And then do you, you have to do it again. a certain way, or can it doesn't go doesn't matter, like you just want to put it to at least, at least two times. And this is the expression mozzare, from this motion of making these small pieces, mozzare. Breaking and breaking. Right. Yeah. Mozz okay. is, to, is to break. It'll shrink 30%, we'll get about 10 pounds out of it. Now we're going to do another mozzare motion and squeeze. Ah, you, you feel it? Yeah. Let's get the water in. So now the curd becomes elastic and melts? Correct. Now at this point you can make balls or braids or any shape you want of the mozzarella. And that's a great shine. That means your curd is ready and we're going to stretch it out. I'm going to need your help. So a little part? Yeah, we're going, to, we're going to give it the Mike's Deli Pulp. Now, because this is fresh curd, we don't want to overstretch it. All right, now, you walk with them and turn and smile. Okay. There you go. <laughs> There's your mozzarella. Easy, easy. You form the mozzarella, mm -hmm. it goes back in your water, kind of like what I did with the, the braid. Okay. And now, you're going to cut this. I'm going to prepare it. Now, what do you See, mean cut it? Your index finger uh -huh. and your thumb are going to cross each other. Okay. And you're going to cut it. Cut. Okay. Like a scissor, think about it. You gotta reheat your mozzarella. Okay. So if, say this braid tomorrow is gonna be ice cold in the fridge. Uh -huh. You get a little pan and put hot tap water. Put in il bagno, the bath. Okay. Five minutes, pour off that water, do it a second time, a few shakes of salt. This will be this soft again tomorrow. Got now do I gotta come to the Bronx to get the water to do that? Then you'll be in good shape. <laughs> so for tomorrow's Sunday dinner, tour from scratch for the very first time. But now, it's time to shop for a main course that will really blow their minds. <laughs> Looking for something to cook, something that's reasonably priced, but, sure. but good. So what do I you got, got a good suggestion for you. How about a nice, fresh rabbit? <laughs> what do you think of it? Yeah, you sure you're not ready for that, I'm no? positive I'm positive. Not ready for that. All right, well, let's you, you know the dish, the dish that my family always made with rabbit is cacciatore, coniglio alla cacciatore. Why don't we do chicken yeah. instead? Do you have any chicken? Oh yeah, we got the chickens, Good. free range chickens, 189 a pound. Okay, well that's great. That's yeah, reasonable. Yeah, we chicken, we don't have this cacciatore. No, you should work. let him do all the work. Yeah, I'll oh, do okay. all the work so you. want to cut you. in eight pieces, eight, pi eight pieces. Uh, was this about so three and a half pounds every chicken? Part of the average about three and a half. Three and a half pounds. So you'll get, you'll get at least four portions from each chicken. 13, 25. That's great. Isn't that great? Tomatoes? Ooh. If you want to be authentic to the idea of cacciatore, it's the hunter style. So what would a hunter find in the woods? Rosemary, something that grows on a pine tree, juniper. These are the, these are the flavors of the woods. And the other important thing is mushrooms. They all taste great. None of these are wild anyway. So let's get these creminis at $3.99 a pound. A pound is more than enough. A lot of water in mushrooms. Okay. Water that tastes good, by the way. You don't want to let that water release before you cook them. Okay, we need about a head of garlic for the cacciatore. We'll show your husband the power of garlic. <laughs> Maybe we should get two then. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think we spent about $25 for eight portions. That's about three bucks a portion. And you'll have enough here for 20 people to taste wow. a good amount. So, since we save so much money, why don't we splurge a little bit on the mozzarella, we'll dress it up with some things. I'm thinking maybe some roasted peppers. I thought it'd be a good idea for Tori to get a few tips on feeding a big Italian family from a real expert. So I asked my mom to join us. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You're beautiful girl. I heard a lot about you. Thank you. You have a very nice son. Yes, Thank I do. You. you know, she's been married 52 years. I don't know how she kept my dad years. happy all that time. How do you stay married to an Italian man? To shut up. <laughs> No talking? <laughs> yes, Adia, yes, Adia. Oh, you gotta yes him to that? Yeah. Oh. And do whatever you want. <laughs> That's the key. Okay. When you bring the food on the table, have always smile. Always smile. Always. 
What if you die? Smile. Just a smile. <laughs> You know, if I've learned anything from my family, if there's a legacy for me, I've learned that the good life, the thing that we always, that we're all looking for, that really great atmosphere, all comes from the energy that you have yeah. inside you. Hers telling you that, always serve it with a smile, is, is so yeah. true. It sounds like a cliche, but it's the truth. It's the truth because, because we didn't have money, you know, we had our stresses. No, but I guess and my kids to come home a little late, you know, I never met on them. Never. You, you were the one bring, to get up and cook at one o'clock no, in the morning? No, I only bring them with a smile on my face. I was dying in my heart. I was scared of them. Yeah. Oh, something happened. happened. Like I was dying in my heart. My, my, I always, hi, Rock, how are you, sweetheart? <laughs> Everything's okay, honey. Always with the smile, that's the yeah. key, huh? Mm -hmm. Everything with a smile. Now I'm going to help Tori find her inner chef and teach her how to make chicken cacciatore for 20 hard-to-impress Italian-Americans. This is my mom's classic marinara sauce. We're gonna use the marinara to cook the chicken in. Uh, so we need garlic and onions first. Go ahead and put that in there. Yeah. Good. That's a nice sound. You want that sound. That's great. Now when you use tomato paste, it's a good idea to cook it because you make it even sweeter when you caramelize it. These are canned tomatoes. They taste great. They're cooked already, so there's really not much you have to do here. This is great the way it is. It's, it's basically done. Why don't you give it a yeah, try? Yeah. Tell me what you think. It's delicious. Put about half the chicken in there. All right. You just want a light dusting. The reason we do this is so that when the chicken browns, the flour also browns with it. Go ahead and put it skin side down. So this is about how brown you want it. You want the skin to be crispy and the other side to be brown. Not too brown. If you brown too much, you'll end up making the sauce too bitter. You can cut them any size you want. Now just remember, the bigger you cut them, the longer it takes to cook them. You can put a little more celery than carrot because the flavor is a little milder. It's not as intense as carrot, it's not as sweet. So these are nice sized mushrooms for? Yeah, actually they're a great size. I like them thick. Okay. The reason is because they're going to cook for a long time. Just put that right in there. It's the same pan, I put olive oil in. No, do it up here so it doesn't splash. Great, all in there. We're going to start with red wine in the dish. Now we put the chicken stock in. Then we're going to put you about put the that sauce much. In there. Yeah, we're going to put all of it in there. We're going to keep checking it. We're going to keep it simmering very slowly. This put on the lowest possible setting. Cheers. All right, so don't worry if you don't remember everything we did. You have the general idea of what we did, right? Uh, so I know there's chicken and vegetables involved. Just do basically the same thing and make it taste the way you like it. All the best. Good luck. You're going to do great. You came a really long way today. Oh, thank you. Take care. You too. You should stay. <laughs> I taught Tori how to make some terrific dishes, but now she's on her own. Does she have the confidence to cook for her entire family, or will the pressure get to her?